Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Bertigala. Everybody knows Bertigala. Everybody loves Bertigala. So, all right, let's take a look at the attacking armies. We actually have three Arverni armies coming in for an attack. I don't know who is who, but I know that one of the uh, the attackers are uh, Mr. Diolus. Dylos, Mr. Dylos, uh, Iron Mike, and Ibor Slan 686. Those are your three attacking armies. Getting it onto the defender's side, we have an Armenia first being commanded by Kilat, and he has brought 10 units of the Cartley Axemen, three Hillmen. General is a noble spearman. He also has four units of Eastern spearmen. Then we will take a look at the Lusitani being commanded by Beaks. That's a lot of E's. Uh, he has 10 units of veteran shield warriors, one Iberian swordsman. General is a Lusitani noble. He also has three units of Balearic slingers, one Iberian slinger. And then we do have an Odrissian kingdom here being commanded by the one and only Mia the Cow Queen. And she has brought with her five units of Thracian nobles, one of those being the general, four Thracian warriors, three spears. Three spearmen, right? That's what they're called? Spears? Yeah, just regular spears, okay. Uh, four units of Thracian bowmen, and she did also bring a Thracian cavalry, who's actually... Woo -hoo -hoo, Thracian cavalry has found some stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, Arverni over here. A unit of heavy horse quickly chasing down a unit of the Thracian horsemen that came out here. And they have located this entire army. Looks like an entire army for Arverni will be attacking back here. And um, I'm only seeing two towers back here, so maybe that was supposed to be like a mystery secret attacking force, but mystery is out of the bag now. And uh, all right, so back up on the front over here, though, we do have some of the Gallic Hunters up here down. Ooh, they've lost 19 men already. Who's killed them? What unit of Slingers? I'm going to assume automatically that it's Slingers that killed them, but I don't know. The Ballista was taken out. I think that was the Lusitani Ballista there. I do not... Oh, wait. No, no, no. There's the Odrissian Ballista way back over there. We have a lot of Cartley Axemen shifting away, so I guess that Lusitani's going to be moved up onto the front line here to try and take on all of this Arverni. I mean, yeah, this is pretty much looking to be that this whole front section of the settlement is going to be defended by Lusitani because we have a ton of of the Cartley Axemen making their way back, so it looks like Armenia will be defending the back part of this settlement. Heavy Horse still here chasing down the uh, Thracian Horsemen. Hopefully the Thracian Horsemen keep right moving because they are visible again. And yeah, they are on the move yet again inside the settlement. We already have some Celtic Warriors for one of the Arverni forces. Thracian Warriors have met them at the wall, so brutality already happening here. Oh, that guy got stabbed in the face. Oh. Oh, another one. That, that's the, that's a noble. Oh, no, it's another Thracian warrior charging in. Okay, so we got a little bit of a cycle out here. Thracian warriors being cycled out. They got 37. Not too bad on the amount of kills there for the start, but more Celtic warriors are going to be landing here on towers. Lots of Celtic warriors here, actually. Lots and lots and lots. Uh, back over on the other side, this Arverni force is still bringing his towers up. We do have some Osworn. Osworn already in the settlement, crushing into this unit of veteran shield warriors. Archers now firing. We have the Gallic Hunters. One lone unit of Gallic Hunters here trying to fire, trying to battle uh, some Baler Iberian slings. Oh, those are Iberians. Okay, Balearics are, I guess, pulled back. Yeah, one there, one there, and one there. Okay, so but second unit of Osworn now getting in. Wow. Osworn are strong. Very, very strong, and this uh, veteran shield warrior unit is losing, yeah. Yeah, Dad, I didn't expect them to be able to stand very long against the might of the Osworn. Osworn are, in my opinion, one of the most elite units in the entire game, especially if they are a general unit and they have the um, they have the uh, strategist general. Ooh, Light Horse, gonna try and slow this Thracian horseman down. He did. Oh, he caught him. Wow, I, th I thought for sure that Thracian Horseman was going to be able to get around the corner and get into those Galax. But no, unfortunately, that opportunity was stopped. Light Horse definitely did their job. 18 kills so far. Thracian Horseman here losing morale. They are not very happy. They are being attacked, technically being attacked in the rear, but they are going to get over here into some Gallic Hunters. They look like they're out of ammo, though. 95 kills for them, and that Gallic Hunter unit will be taken care of, so okay. 
So the Light Horse actually still doing a pretty good job here holding the uh, Thracian Horsemen in place. Maybe this Oast One's going to get over here. Nope, they're not. They're marching. They're not going to get over there in time. Okay, what about this Oast One? Nope, you're just kind of standing there. All right, so actually we have a lot of our Verney has landed over here now. Levy Freeman, unfortunately, just getting taken out immediately. Veteran Shield Warriors, not a difficult problem. Not a problem. Difficult level zero to try and take out some Levy Freeman. Uh, but we do have some more of the Celtic Warriors now landing. Celtic Warriors over here taking on these Veteran Shield Warriors near the front gate towers over here. Got some gut shots going on. Ooh, Balearics again. Nice, nice, nice position for the Balearic Slingers there. And they are firing straight across into this Celtic Warrior. Actually, both of these Celtic Warriors are currently... Oh, my God. This one is just getting pelted. Absolutely annihilated. 20 kills down to 100 men. Now less than 100 men. We actually have the Noble General way up on the front. No, 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 no. Loose tiny Noble General back up. Wait a second. They're still alive? 105 kills. How did they get away? Oh, the Oswan didn't come over here. Oh, well. Thracian Horsemen, they did a great job. What did that say? Final kill was 105? 105 kills, Thracian Horsemen. Very nicely done. The uh, Light Horse here with 53. Looks like this Oswan did help out. 20 kills for them. So, all right. that The uh, Thracian Horsemen are now removed. Let's get back over onto the opposite side of the settlement. We have a lot of Chosen Swordsmen. Gallic Hunters now firing away onto this front line of Hellmen. Some Chosen Swordsmen climbing up onto the towers, getting inside the settlement. Archers are definitely going to help out. Yeah, this Hellman unit is getting murdered. Absolutely evaporated off of the battlefield here. Let's say 31, 50. This unit there with 46. Seeing only three units of Gallic Hunters. There's probably one more somewhere unless maybe there's a the, his fourth one is on the opposite side i'm not sure exactly who is who and where they are like i said um way back there at the beginning of the battle replay but all right the gallic hunters out front here let's see they're starting to get some okay kills 14 11 there this unit here with 58 woof they're starting to get some good kills definitely starting to get some really good kills then we have these gallic hunters here 22 6 this unit there with zero they are starting to fire in onto this front line here of the Thracian Warriors. Let's see how they're doing. 185 for that unit. 98 there. 89, 122. The Thracian Noble General up in melee here already too. 89 kills. And this Thracian Noble there with 34. Taking on a fight. Looks to be a final unit of Chosen Swordsmen that came up around the corner over here. That is just going to be death. This Chosen Swordsman is not going to get very far. Probably not even going to get a whole lot of kills. Maybe 30 kills maybe 30 kills. I mean, they're taking on a Thracian Noble General. That is crazy with another Thracian Noble right there, but it looks like they are going to pull away. Nope, they're not going to pull away. They're going to charge back in, get rid of this Thracian, of this uh, Chosen Swordsman as fast as possible, and there you go. Big time charge up onto the wall. Let's zoom in here and just see some of this murder that the Thracian Nobles can absolutely inflict on pretty much any opponent. Oh, God, another one dead. Oh, that guy's... Oof, ouch. Okay. All right, let's swing back down the walls over here, and it looks like the... Okay, so they're actually moving down together now. Oh, we have oh, someone general up in fighting already. Wow. 42 kills so far. Do have a unit of the Balearic Slingers right there, firing across and just, again, murdering Oswarn. Slingers are really, really good. They have a higher AP damage than a lot of the archers. I don't know if it's the high, uh, I don't know if they have higher in total than all archers. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do know that slingers have a very high AP. It's higher than most archers. I'll, I'll, I feel comfortable saying it that way. Uh, but it does look like our Verney actually is now starting to take over the front part of the settlement. Here we have some most sworn chosen swords, chosen swords, Celtic warriors. Seventy-three kills for them. 67 there, 53 for the Oswar, and 78 for this other Chosen Swordsman. So it uh, looks like the Iberian force, the Lusitani force, has pretty much been destroyed. I see one unit of Balearic Slingers there. We have another unit of Veteran Shields there, Veteran Shield there, but they are just getting shot. One unit of Gallic Hunters here, 131 kills, and there they go. They are wavering now. Very, very tough fight. 
Host Swarm. I mean, Chosen Swordsmen are really good, especially with those Gallic Hunters. I mean, I'll, maybe not, not a lot of people agree with me in the fact that I feel that uh, Gallic Hunters are really good. They have really low armor. It's only 10 armor. Their melee is nothing really to be appreciated, but I feel like Gallic Hunters are kind of like a like a slept-on unit to a degree, where they, well, a lot of people are like, man, they're not that good. They don't have very good armor. I've seen Celtic uh, Gallic Hunters do a ton of damage before. All right, so back over on the other side here, our Verney still pressing in. He's actually got a couple of units of his Chosen Swordsmen here freed up. We got some Kirtley Axemen, some Eastern Archers there. Looks like they're getting ready to start firing. Here we go. Shots coming in. And... Oh, he killed a couple. Yeah, he did get a couple kills. It is 11 kills. I don't know if he killed 11 on that. But all right. Our Verney over here capturing up this front tower. Neutralizing it, I should say. They're going to need to charge this unit in, though. If they don't charge them in, this Carly Axman unit can easily just press into the circle and keep it neutralized, which the attackers definitely don't want. So this unit really needs to press in, especially if they have they have full javelins. Oh, nope. Carly Axman are going to get the charge off and the javelin volley. No response from the javelins from the chosen swordsman there. That is very, very rough. Very, very, very rough. Back over on the front side here, let's see. The Odrissian Kingdom has now had to switch and take on essentially two Arverni forces now by themselves and uh, the spears here we actually have a unit of Thracian nobles getting past the front line going to get into some Osworn Thracian warriors there I'm sorry Thracian nobles 33 men left in the unit there is 51 50 Osworn there another unit of chosen swordsmen closing the distance there a little bit I don't think this Thracian noble is going to be long for the battlefield but they do have 164 kills Another unit of spears right there, finally getting taken out by a unit of those one there. 64 men left in the unit there, 155, 159 kills for them. Thracian Bowman now starting to fire. There you go. Thracian Bowman starting to get some shots in onto that Ose one. And actually, that's going to help turn the fight around. Oh, but both of them are wavering. Never mind. Joseph Swordsman are going to get over here. Still 176 there. The Ose one with 215. But yeah, that Thracian Noble unit finally getting routed off. The oh, that was a brutal stab. I saw it barely. That was a brutal stab. All right, what do we have here? We have some more of the Thracian warriors now coming down, going to collide into onto the front line of the Chosen Swords in there. Should be able to break through or, well, do a lot of damage. Uh, 48, well, actually, nope, no, we have another unit coming in, but oh, the javelins. Oh, the javelins into the Thracian warriors as they are retreating away. Nice cycle charge, though. Unit coming back down again. But look at the Thracian nobles that took javelins as they were retreating away. Look at all of that. Oh, boy. But we got them coming down again. Just cycle charging everything. Charge bonus 36. Not a bad charge bonus at all. Chosen Swordsman still trying to hold on to this front line. But the javelins almost exhausted. Nope, they're exhausted. The javelins have been completely used. Chosen Swordsman here. 169 kills. 170 now. Breaking into these really beaten up units of Thracian warriors. 18, 16, 15. So this front line here is about to break. We have another unit of Thracian nobles that have made their way over. Thracian warriors again going to come down with another charge. They're just trying to get as many kills as they possibly can. Uh, back over on this side, Thracian noble general having to be the unit that holds the front line. There's another unit of Thracian nobles right there. So they do still have infantry over here. How did this survive? What is going on with this unit? Why are they not moving? It's 34 chosen swordsmen just getting shot by the arrow tower there. Definitely want to start getting them to move, though. Uh, back over on the other side here, Chosen Swordsmen have charged in, getting into it with the Cartley Axemen. Looks like the Cartley Axemen are not holding very well. Chosen Swordsmen so far in command of this fight. Oh, looks like Cartleys are going to pop out, maybe switch out. Yeah, we got another Cartley Axemen going to charge forward. Ooh, what just died? What just died over there? I think that was a general. Yep, Osworn General just recently died there. Thracian Noble General, 175 kills. Two more units of Thracian Nobles here. We actually had, it looks like one shifted in, or cycled in, I should say. Uh, we have some Balearic Slingers now making their way forward. 132 kills for them. Wonder if they're going to start firing at the Gallic Hunters, maybe? That could be what they're going to see. Yep, they're going to just start volleying over there, try and get some kills onto these Gallics. We do have four units of Gallic Hunters all lined right there. Two more units of Osworn. Pretty much full units of Osworn also. Oof. 
That is very, very dangerous. Back down over here. This Thracian Noble actually charging out now. Going to kill off these final 30 Chosen Swordsmen there. And they maybe be able to charge around this way. But we do have another Osworn making their way forward. The Celtic Light Horse actually coming around over here. 54 kills for them. And they are making their way around. But it looks like maybe Armenia is ready for that. If he gets this unit of archers up on the wall there, they might be able to fire that way. Obviously, this Cartley Axeman, yeah, I figured the Cartley Axeman was going to move once they saw the Light Horse making their way around. Madrician Kingdom Ballista has not shot anything yet. Hasn't really had the opportunity to fire at anything. Uh, but we do some more Eastern Archers right there firing away into a unit of Gallic Hunters here. 105 kills for them. Not firing back. They are taking just taking shots from that Eastern Archer unit there. 67 kills so far. Over here, Chosen Swordsman. Two units of Chosen Swordsman taking on one Cartley Axeman. Get that unit out of shield wall. Definitely need to get that unit out of shield. Oh, Light Horse. Oh, Javelins. Never mind, you're dead. <laughs> Never mind, you are dead. Eight of them left. They're going to just try one final... Ch Ooh. That's actually a pretty solid charge. I don't know why they're in wedge formation, honestly. Um, but... Yep, never mind. Never mind. Kelton Light Horse is gone. Kelton Light Horse is gone. All right, so back over on the front line. Odrissian Kingdom did get... Oh, no, that's a spear unit. Here comes the other unit of uh, the Thracian Nobles coming around over here. Thracian Noble General here, 282 kills. That spear unit is absolutely going to get mur... Yep, they're gone. They didn't even really barely even fight, but they got 49 kills somehow. I don't know what they fought to get 49 kills because they're pretty garbage. Spears are not really very good, but oh, Osworn taking pretty much point-blank shots from those Thracian bowmen. And here we go, Thracian nobles, Osworn battle. Oh, brutal fight there. These are some very top-tier, strong infantry units. Osworn are winning the fight slightly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got the Thracian noble general over there. 342 kills, but they are really outnumbered now. Oh, yeah, there's only 21 left in the general unit. And that is a full O-Sworn general there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see how this fight's going. 96 to 91, so still a very close fight. Thracian Bowman now making their way around. Looks like they are out of ammunition, at least this unit. Oh, no, they're still in. They still have ammo. And they're firing. There you go. That's going to help the uh, this Thracian Noble unit out tremendously. Yeah, dropping this Osworn down very, very quickly. But the Osworn General getting over here. He does not have the refresh ability, though. Oh, if he had refreshed that Osworn, that probably would have helped out pretty good. This Osworn General now getting in there. He has blasted Rally. Definitely wants to hit Headhunt right about now to try and finish off the rest of this Thracian Noble. Bowmen are still firing away. 122 to 83. This unit charging in only 100. Well, not only. They have 105 kills. They still have their bows. I thought they still had their bows out. I mean, they have their daggers out right now because it says that they were in melee. But let's see. Do they pull their bows back out? Mm, not looking like it. Not looking like it just yet. The Osworn over here, though. Let's see. 83 kills. And, yeah, I think they're just going to finish off this Osworn. This uh, Thracian Noble there. Pretty easily. Uh, back over here in the center, we have another unit of really beaten up Osworn. 277 kills, though. Swinging way back over onto the opposite side of the battlefield, though. Uh, Chosen Swordsman still making a pretty good advance here. 70 and 67 kills. Still pretty... That's a pretty decent size. And 151 men. This unit here with 59. Taking on some Cartley Axemen down to 48 men. Another Cartley Axemen in the unit there with 104 uh, let's see what we still have. Another 104 there and another 158. So Cartley Axman still in very high demand or like strength, I should say. Very, very uh, strong units. There we go. Words are a little difficult sometimes, guys. Very strong units. Osworn here now firing in onto the Cartley Axman that actually wrapped around the back of this Chosen Swordsman. And by them doing that, the Chosen Swordsman getting into shield wall actually allowed the Cartley Axman to get into their backs. But that's just getting the Osworn a whole lot of kills with their Javelins. 25 kills so far. Hopefully they do end up charging in there, though. Uh, back over on the other side here. Osworn General capturing up the tower. Still getting shot, though. Yeah, this bow, this bow unit still has ammo. I mean, I really wouldn't be caring all that much about get. I mean, he's got high armor, though. 80 armor, 135 men, 145 kills. Bowman here now going to try and run away. Looks like they're out of ammo now. 90 kills for that unit. Going to try and make their way around. Osworn charging in back again here on the front line against these Cartley Axemen. 
Oswan blasting off that headhunt. They try and get as many kills of this Carly Axman unit as they can. I don't think they're going to be able to turn it around, though. Yeah, there's 43 against 139. The Gallic Hunters here, 179 kills. What was that firing? Definitely just saw arrows coming from over here somewhere. I don't know where what that was, though. Uh, this Gallic Hunter here, 90 kills. Looks like they do still have ammo. Yeah, they're still firing. Firing over onto the front line. Probably going to get some friendly fire. Might not be a bad idea to actually bring those those Gallic Hunters around over here to fire. Have a better... Get them closer. Be able to fire a little bit better. But, no, oh, he's actually getting some okay kills. He's getting some kills there. Osworn General now making his way in. We have the Thracian Bowman and another Cartley Axeman unit pulling back. The Spear Noble General here. Noble Spearman, I should say. Still hanging out there. Going to make his way back towards the town center. Uh, but this back army over here for Arverni does look like... But that... Thracian horsemen finding that army as fast as they did. That really took took away the uh, element of surprise. But this Oswan unit still making their way around. The Oswan general, I wonder if he's going to try and come there. These bows still have ammo. They do not. It does not look like they have any ammo left. So this Oswan general is easily going to get into the back of that Cartley Axeman. That's going to be huge. Another Cartley Axeman here, though. 160 men in that unit. Looks like they're going to try and charge out. Oswan, just don't, why are you stopping? Just charge, 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 charge. Don't stop. You got to go. You don't have time to line up. I know sometimes I say line up. Make sure you have the unit lined up to be able to get a good charge. That wasn't even really that good of a charge. What was that? That was a terrible charge. All right, get some kills on this Carly Axeman, and then you got to turn around. There you go. Okay, good. Carly Axeman over here. Oh, javelins to the face. Javelins to the face. Oswan General going to come in here, take on this Carly Axeman. Blast your headhunt now. You're already winded. Hit it. You're not going to. It's not going to be that much more of a uh, debuff to get. It's just going to knock you down to exhausted. It won't really matter. You're going to be exhausted soon anyway. Definitely wants to use that headhunt right now. Uh, but this definitely looks like it's going to be an attacker's victory. I mean, we still have this heavy horse running around out here, though. But there's no way for him to get inside. The attackers never ended up capturing any of the gate. Oh, they have this gate. Oh, that heavy horse would have probably been very helpful around on this other side. Very, very helpful on this other side. Carly Axman here. He's not even going to bother turning around to get into that OS1 general. He's just going to keep charging down. Take take out the rest of these Gallic Hunters. Probably get a bunch of... Nope, he's turning around. He's going to come back to the OS1 general. Okay. Minute 25 left in the battle. And it looks like this is going to be a serious attacker's victory. I wonder what would have happened, though. There's always that, I wonder, what what, what if? What if? If that heavy horse was around on this side to get in these walls, there's not a lot of infantry left for the Odrician kingdom. There's only there's four units of bowmen, one Balearic slinger left. That heavy horse would have easily ripped these guys apart, but we got 57 seconds left in the battle. Generals are both routing away, so it looks like it's just going to be because of the heavy horse running around outside. He's going to take 40, 48 seconds to route, so we're just going to fast forward the rest of this battle away here. Yeah, both of the Osworn, I'm pretty sure both of them are gone. Yeah, there's the other Osworn right there. He has routed. There he goes. He's gone. Costly victory for the defenders. Very nicely done. Uh, let's take a look at Mia the Count Queen first. It was the one that seeped the replay over. So thank you very much, Mia, for sending it over. I really appreciate when you send the replays over to the Discord. If you guys want to send in uh, replays, you can definitely join the Hungry Wolves Discord. You can find a link for that in the description below. And uh, send over some replays into the YouTube Replays channel. You just go to the server rules first. Get yourself the access card that will open up the entire Discord. So you'll find all the channels and everything. Just find your way down to the uh, YouTube Replays channel. You can drop your replays in there. But okay, Mia the Count Queen here, 2,356 kills, 350 on the general. That Thracian Horseman still, 105 kills. I don't think that that, Os that horse, one, horse unit would have gotten anywhere near as many kills had that Os1 unit come down and collapse into the back of them while that light horse was holding them in place. Uh, but Thracian Bowman, 159, 217, 122. Spearman Top Unit, 49. Rest of the Thracian Nobles, 189, 176, 110. Ooh, that one took ee, down to 66. That's rough. They probably got shot. Uh, Thracian Warriors here, 229, 155, 128, 145. Great job there. Very good job. Then we have Beaks with Lusitani, 1934, 85 with his general. I think he got shot up. 
He was really close up to the walls there at the beginning. Uh, but the Balearics definitely did good. 137, 241, very nice. Veteran Shield Warriors, 169, 165, 205, 128, and 276. Almost 300 kills with a Veteran Shield Warrior. Iberian's almost getting 100, too. That's pretty good. And then we have Kilat here, 1958 with Armenia. General didn't get involved. Eastern Archers, 134, 186, 127. Hillman got wrecked. Carly Axman, 214, 155, 126, 154, 109, 117, 174, and 208. So pretty good there, 208 kills with that. Two units over, over 200 kills. Uh, then we're getting on to the attackers. We have Mr. Dilios here. Dilos, I guess it's Mr. Dilos. Uh, 2,128 kills. Very good job. 220 on his general. Archers, 180, 192, uh, 97. Celtic Warriors, 105. Chosen Swords, 137, 247, 118. Osworn, 308, 115. Levy Freeman got murdered. Iron Mike. Oh, Elite Army. Okay, Iron Mike here, 1485. Osworn General, 215. Gallic Hunter is 110, 128. Rest of his O's are 218, 129, 126, 176, and 102. And then we have Ibor Slan, 280, uh, sorry, 686 with 1682. 1652. Wow, numbers. What is going on? <laughs> O's sworn 114. Heavy Horse, unfortunately, did not get involved. Uh, Gallic Hunters, 109, 195, and 105. So I'm guessing this was the army that attacked on the backside of the settlement. Celtic Warriors, 93. Yeah, 93. Then Chosen Swords in 119. Uh, 117, 125. So, all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Again, make sure to hit the like button on the video. Definitely helps them out tremendously. I've been seeing a lot of likes on videos recently, so that is definitely helping out, guys, tremendously. Thank you guys very much. Uh, obviously, drop some comments down below. I want to see what you guys think about the replay and commentary and whatever. Uh, share the content around and subscribe to the channel if you are new, but that is going to be the end. So have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.